Hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again. My name is Gwenda. I usually don't enjoy reporting about things like this because what it does is that for those people who do not know Africans too well, it kind of creates a negative picture about us to them, about how we are, the kind of people we are, which may not necessarily be true. Because trust me, my homeland Ghana, we are the warmest people you can ever come across. We are so peaceful. So I'm just going to talk about it generally. There are people who still live in the dark ages. There are people who still live and act like barbarians. There are people who still live in the stone age. The world has moved on. Many have transformed. So much has changed. If we can allow our culture to be changed, our traditions to be changed, and even our food and languages in some places to be changed, why can't we change something as simple as our primitive mindset? Sorry for being too harsh, but please, I don't know what such people go through, but whatever bad thing it is that you have had to go through, it doesn't give you the right to put others through the same thing. If you have gone through something bad, all the more reason you shouldn't put others through it. You shouldn't put others through it. Or else the cycle is just going to continue round and round and round. And you don't like that. And you don't want that to happen. Break that cycle. Make it stop. Break that cycle. Make it stop with you. Move on. Come on, man. We are in 2020. For goodness sake, learn to forgive. Let it go before it destroys you. Before it destroys innocent lives. Before it destroys everyone that's important to you. Before you lose all that is important to you. Don't hold on to it. Don't hold it in. Just try to breathe and let it go. Let it go before you destroy yourself. There is no reason, none whatsoever. No reason, no reason at all for a person of... There is no reason, none whatsoever. No reason, no reason at all for a person to cut off the ear. And... For a person to cut off the ear of his own child all in the name of discipline no reason none whatsoever for a child who there is no reason none whatsoever for a parent to pick up a knife and chop off the ear and fingers of his own child for what because he took some money from you that is his excuse just because your child took some money from you just because your child did something wrong just because you have tried to correct your child for so many times and he keeps making the same mistake you pick up a knife chop off his ear and his fingers he is a child he is a child. They are like lost puppies. That's what children are like. That's what kids are. They need to be rescued. They need to be cared for. They need your direction. They need your guidance. Talk to them. Persuade them. It's not going to be easy. Yes, it's never been easy. Nobody said it's going to be easy. But don't stop trying. Just don't give up on them. Keep talking to them. Keep persuading them. Be friends with them. And while at it, pray pray a great deal prayer will seal the deal there's no better way to straighten out your child there's no better way to bring up your child than to pray for them also violence is certainly not the way to go chopping up body parts of your child in the name of correcting them is not the way to go you have damaged them for life Whoever you are, wherever you are, if after listening to this you still think violence is the way to go to discipline your child, 
then you need help. From one parent to another, I wish you well. From one parent to another, I say be strong. Violence is not the way to go. My name is Queen Rahmat. Thanks for watching.